you talk about vaccines. Um, tell tell me where you stand on vaccines, uh, and let's let's talk about this in in uh, I mean in real time here with with vaccines coming yeah. into play in our world and and forced vaccines are possible, et cetera, et cetera. So talk to me a little bit about vaccines. Well, vaccines are an example of there not having been enough innovation. Um, so, uh, you know, when this pandemic started, I was slightly surprised to discover that it's still 12 to 18 months to develop a vaccine minimum uh, and that, you know, decades go by without us developing a vaccine for a new virus. Uh, and indeed, there are people out there saying it's a disgrace that we don't develop vaccines faster. Um, uh, when you think back to, I, I write about the whooping cough vaccine in my book, which was um, invented by two really brilliant women in Michigan in the 1930s, uh, and in about four years from start to finish. Now, that would be quite quick even today. So how come it's so slow? Why is it that uh, um, that it's, it's taking so long to do this? Uh, and um, Can I guess? Uh, the answer is because we haven't put enough investment into vaccine development. We haven't been prioritizing it. We've been looking in the wrong direction, obsessing about things like climate change as a threat to health instead of pandemics. At some level, there becomes so much government oversight and regulation that there's no real ability uh, or, or incentive for anyone in the private sector to innovate in those in those fields. Right. I, I would that, right? correct. When, exactly. when yeah, when you said that, you know, what's the biggest I wanted to guess because I thought it would be government, not lack of investment. I thought it would be government. Well, it, it often is. And, and government regulation gives you uh, a huge hurdle to get over in anything medical. You know, medical devices take uh, four to five years to get approval in some countries. That deters a lot of investment. And it's similar in vaccines. There's a huge amount of safety regulation and others, quite rightly. Uh, but no company is going to go through that if it can't make money out of the product at the end. And it's something similar in nuclear, because the problem with nuclear is we we uh, demand for the licensing of a nuclear plant such enormously detailed specification yeah. of every nut and bolt in the thing many years in advance and such you know, hundreds of millions of dollars spent on getting the license that you then can't change it. You know, you, if you change it, you have to start all over again. Uh, and so that deters the sort of trial and error experimentation that is normal when you're building something that big to get it right. Um, uh, and as a result, that, that, that technology can't evolve. It can't change. It can't improve. Um, so it is a bit similar, the vaccine and the nuclear story. Um, big government regulation getting in the way of the kind of experimentation and cheap uh, work. There's a very nice example, though, from the Gates Foundation of how to fund vaccination in a way that does incentivize it. Uh, and that is to, to dangle a prize. And the prize is a sort of subsidized contract mm -hmm. to, to distribute the vaccine.